Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking Up Claire, my cooking show that will hopefully help you brush up in the kitchen, allow for me to grow my cooking skills, and give us a community to learn from each other. It's February, and you know what that means, love is in the air. Whether you're celebrating the 14th with that special someone, or just getting the girlfriends together for a movie night, these Valentine's Day treats are exactly what you need. Today, I'm making three strawberry desserts that are sure to impress anyone you have over this month. We're talking strawberry meringues, strawberry shortbread cookies, and chocolate-covered strawberries. If you want to jump to one of these recipes, I have the timestamps in the description box below. Before we start with these strawberry treats, we need to make one secret ingredient strawberry powder. Now, I know you can buy strawberry extract at the store, but I feel like it just has this artificial candy flavor. I much prefer to take freeze-dried strawberries like these. These were called strawberry chips at the local store I was at, and blend them in a food processor until you get a fine powder. From here, you can add it to pretty much any treat you're trying to make with a strawberry punch, like the strawberry meringues and the cookies that I'm making today. Speaking of, let's get started on those meringues. If I'm being honest, this is probably one of my favorite recipes to date. These are fruity and sweet, and at only 25 calories a pop, they are worth every bite. To start, I'm gonna add four egg whites and a half teaspoon of cream of tartar to a clean and dry mixer. I am adding emphasis so you will actually listen to me and make sure there is nothing in that mixer except for these ingredients. I'm even taking the extra precaution of cracking the eggs into a separate bowl in case you drop a whole yolk like so. See, I would have had to have started over. Okay, lecture over. Now slowly crank your mixer up to the highest level and while it's running, add four cups of sugar in half cup increments over the course of about a minute or so until you have stiff peaks. I mean, come on, check out how stiff these peaks are. This is our basic meringue, and from here we can add our flavors. I'm adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of that strawberry powder we made before. I'm also gonna add a tiny bit of pink food coloring before ramping the mixer back up to high until everything is incorporated. Next, you need to prep your piping bag. Now, I was trying to be fancy, so I added a little piping tip to my Ziploc, but that is totally optional. Either way, I recommend using a cup to hold the bag upright while you add your meringue. Once the bag is full, cut one of the corners and you are ready to pipe. I'm using a silicone mat, but if you don't have one of these, just use parchment paper on top of your baking sheet to make sure the bottoms of the meringue stay intact. When you're ready, just pipe little dollops. These aren't going to spread at all, so you can pipe them really close together. Now, to prepare you, this recipe makes a ton of meringues. This is only half of the batter I made, but I ended up just tossing the rest since my hand started hurting since we had been filming for hours. Whew, my hands are to hurt. <laughs> Once you're done piping, pop these into a 250 degree oven for one hour. Once the time is up, turn the oven off and do not open the door. Let these cool completely in the oven for about one more hour. And in the meantime, you can, I don't know, watch your favorite rom-com or get started on these shortbread cookies. These are so cute and really easy to make. I'm starting with the same dough from my lavender cookie recipe, minus the lavender. I have the link to that recipe in the description box below. The only difference is that instead of shaping the dough into a log and cutting it that way, I'm going to roll the dough out and cut it into different sized hearts. Since this is a shortbread, these aren't going to spread, so they'll stay super cute and heart-shaped in the oven. I'm baking these the same as I would with my lavender cookies and letting them cool completely once I take them out of the oven. Now we're going to make a royal frosting. Remember that strawberry powder? We're using it again. In a bowl, combine powdered sugar and some more of that strawberry powder. Now, I used four cups of powdered sugar and two tablespoons of strawberry powder and made way too much. <laughs> you could probably get away with two cups of sugar and one tablespoon of strawberry powder. To this, add one tablespoon of vanilla extract and about a tablespoon of milk. Combine that and then continue adding milk a tablespoon at the time until you reach a thick, pourable consistency. I think I added about a half cup in all. 
Once you're happy with the consistency, take your fully cooled shortbread cookie and dip each one into the frosting. Make sure to move the cookie around so there's frosting edge to edge. From there, put all your frosted cookies on a plate and stick it in the fridge to let the icing set. And while they're setting, let's get a move on our chocolate covered strawberries. This is the easiest recipe we are making today, but it is definitely a crowd pleaser. All you need are strawberries and chocolate. I'm adding some edible pearls as decor, but those aren't even necessary. To start, dump about four cups of chocolate into a microwave safe bowl. You can really use any type of chocolate for this. I opted for a semi-sweet chocolate chunk, but you could use the same recipe for anything from white chocolate to like some sort of chocolate bar. Just make sure you have more chocolate than strawberries since it will make dipping significantly easier. Microwave your chocolate for about one minute before removing it and stirring. It won't be completely melted yet, but you wanna make sure you heat your chocolate up slowly to avoid burning it and wasting it. Pop it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds, then remove and stir again. Continue this process until all the pieces are melted and you're left with velvety chocolate that, as Brett put it, you wanna take a bath in. Dude, I don't wanna bathe in it. Rinse your strawberries and dry them completely before dipping them into the melted chocolate and setting them on some parchment paper to let dry and cool for about 15 minutes. And now you are ready to assemble your Valentine's Day treat tower. The strawberry meringues are fluffy and sweet and perfect for a quick little bite. The cookies are so cute and fun and definitely photo worthy. And the chocolate covered strawberries are the easiest treat that is sure to make anyone fall in love. It's almost like there's a theme here, almost. If you give any of these recipes a try, definitely let me know by tagging me on Instagram or Facebook at Cooking Up Claire, or leave a comment on this video below. Be sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you'll be able to see all of my upcoming videos. And with that, I'll see you next time on Cooking Up Claire.